1966 was a great year for football, but not perhaps in the way you'd expect. Soft and Lion has unearthed an extremely rare and unseen piece of local sporting history thought to have been lost forever. Good afternoon from the Soccer Stadium of the National Recreation Centre here at the Crystal Palace in London. Down below me in front of the grandstand is the magnificent Rediffusion Cup for which these two youth teams representing Northamptonshire and Lancashire will soon be battling. Nearly 50 teams enter the competition which is organised by the National Association of Youth Clubs. In April that year, a young group of players from Eccles Youth Club fought their way to this cup final. But a TV strike meant the match was broadcast live everywhere in the country, apart from the North West. The finalists are lining up on the field, waiting now for the Honourable Angus Ogilvie. And now he moves across to the Lancashire side, who are playing in yellowed. The interesting thing about this Lancashire side is that they are all from the Eccles Youth Club, the entire side. The Eccles Youth Club uh, won the Lancashire County Championship and it was decided that the team was so good that they would come en bloc here for the final of the County Championship. A good, lively side. The lineup of the Lancashire side. In goal, Barry Thomas, Brian Edgerton and David Woodward, the fullbacks. Michael Jackson, a player to watch this one at right half. Peter Frimson, the skipper. Leonard Alderson at left half. The forward line, Stuart Hosey, Stuart Crompton, George Hodgins, uh, Ian McCormick and Paul Boy. The yellow shirts of Lancashire waving up the field now as Boy is racing in on this one. Moore got himself in trouble there. And he scores! He scores! An incredible stroke of luck brought it to light and almost 50 years on, Soft Online spokes were tacking forward Stuart Crompton to tell us this amazing story. It didn't just happen overnight, you know, we all started together at 15 years of age, most of them, George Hodgins and me, like seven of that team, 15 year olds, and we'd all come through together. We used to train at uh, Mort Hall at uh, Peel Green, and I'm not certain uh, tra train may be the right word, <laughs> but we used to go down there and play football. Memory plays uh, a few tricks, but it was a real bad day, it rained very heavily and very windy. The crowd were probably about four or five thousand there. School school kids, I think, had got the afternoon off and they made a lot of noise, put it that way. To get the final, Lancashire beat Bradford 5-2, Sheffield 4-0, Hull and East Riding, which uh, they were last year's winners, Webster pushing it back. McCormick working well there. Now this is Boy cutting inside, looking for Hosey. Hosey getting in his left foot and tries one. And he's scored! It's in the net! Stuart Hosey puts Lancashire 1 0 in the lead. Stuart Hosey, our right winger, scored that trick. Woodward. Alderson. Big chip forward. Hodgins. Hodgins beats more in the air. And here's Hosey again. And he scores number two! The thing that fascinates me to find out was it was actually televised and broadcast live throughout the country, yeah. apart from the North West. Oh, yeah, this, is, this is the honest truth. This is how fantastic it was. Uh, half of people at Gardner's, which was the big factory in Peel Green, yeah. had the afternoon off to watch it. And an hour before, um, Granada went on strike. So it's shown all over the country, apart from in the northwest. And one of my teammates, Len Olderson, a real good friend of mine, emigrated to Australia, came over in 1992 and he was staying at our house. And he just happened to say to me, Stuart, what happened to the reel of film? And I said to him, what reel of film? He said, I'm going to look for it. So I goes off to work and him and his wife went to town hall, they went to the library and eventually went into the youth club as his last resort, really. And Anyway, the cleaner was walking down the corridor and he said, uh, have you seen a, a reel of film or anything? I mean, she said, what, what would I be looking for? He said, oh, some circular. She said, oh, there's something like that in the loft. <sighs> they went in the loft and they found it. So I comes home from work that night and he's there, big beaming smile on his face and he's got this reel of film. I said, oh, that's unbelievable. Because, like, I didn't think it was possible. And he said what can we do with it? I said, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to invite all the team, we're going to have a barbecue <laughs> in our back garden, and I got 13 copies of it, 
like two couldn't come, they were in Canada, one was up in Newcastle, but I think there's about seven or eight there with the wives mm. and a few of our other mates. And about eight o'clock I said, right, all in the lounge, I'm gonna show you something. In you come, we haven't told them anything about it. And usual comments like, um, oh, Grammy's got a blue film. <laughs> so uh, we got them in the lounge and we turned it on and there it was, it was deadly silent. This is her poor boy left it just too long. And a penalty, a penalty it is. A penalty it is. For Lancashire. It's Hodgins. And he scores. Number four. And there he is. George Hodgins, the scorer of that penalty kick. Stuart Hosey having scored two goals, equalised by Cyril Green, 2-2. It looked like being a very tight second half, but it changed. It was un unbelievable. I didn't even know they'd give us a reel of the film. 